Hello everyone, I just wanted to give this a little quick video, no production value at all. Um, I just finished getting the code built for my little uh, Arduino powered sensor display unit. Um, essentially I'm using these little homemade uh, current and voltage sense boards with a uh, another main board built that will run one of these HD44780 LCDs. Um, I have a different Arduino right now just as the uh, test bit on this breadboard. Um, I have all the ADC pins hooked up to a single potentiometer. Um, each one of these values is scaled to a different uh, maximum. Um, voltage 1 is set to 0 to 50. Voltage 2 is set to 0 to 5. Uh, current 1 and current 2 are both set to 0 to 100. Um, so, as I start to increase the potentiometer, you'll note that the values actually track it. Floating point finally works. Took me uh, a couple hours to figure it all out with some help from some people. Um, unfortunately, the refresh rate is much slower than I wanted, but it would appear that floating point math on the Arduino fails big time. But, you know, you can't get everything. Um, but otherwise, stay tuned because these little current sense boards, which should be able to handle 100 amps a piece, these little voltage sense boards, which uh, can scale to, let's see, 15, 15, uh, 25, and 50 volts DC. Those should be pretty useful because I can put the sensor boards themselves near the device under test and put the display units somewhere safe and or visible. Um, I could always get a, a bigger LCD so I could fit more values on the screen. Um, keep in mind that I do have six analog inputs on the Arduino. I'm only using four of them right now because that's all I can fit on the screen. But it, using a 4x20 screen, I should also be able to put in um, a line for the power in watts for each one of these um, three different inputs, so I can have voltage and current, as well as power display for three separate circuits simultaneously. Um, and just one thing to note before anyone asks, these little current sense boards, they use the MAX 4372 current sense amplifier and a little um, current sense resistor there. It's uh, 50 volts per volt amplification on the current sense amplifier with high side isolation. So in other words, this goes to your battery and this goes to your load, that's the ground, so you feed current through and you get up to 100 amps of current sense, pretty much transparent to the circuit. So a uh, pretty good diagnostic tool, I think. This should be fun to uh, test out. Stay tuned!